This animation demonstrates the implantation of the Axonics rechargeable stimulator with the tined lead already in place. Local anesthesia is administered and a small incision, approximately two and a half centimeters, is created at the mark made previously for placement of the future stimulator. After the stimulator incision is created, a pocket is created medial to the incision using blunt dissection techniques at a recommended depth of less than two centimeters. Hemostasis is confirmed and the pocket is irrigated. The tunneling tool is used to tunnel from the lead entry point to the incision. The sharp tip and the handle are removed, leaving just the clear plastic straw. The lead is then placed through the straw and brought out through the lateral incision. The straw is then removed. The lead is connected to the stimulator, ensuring the white indicator is inside the clear portion of the header. The lead is secured using the torque wrench to tighten the set screw until a click is heard. Excess lead is coiled and placed behind the stimulator, which is inserted into the pocket ensuring that it is flat and level to the skin. The ceramic window of the stimulator should be lateral and the lead connection should come from above. Once the stimulator is placed in the pocket, the clinician programmer is used to wirelessly check impedances and motor response thresholds are transferred to the stimulator. The incision is closed with two layers of suture and dressings are applied.